Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And guys, this time it's on paint that waxing and compounding can do to bring back out. Uh, just anything, you know, like I said, uh, any kind of paints that look really, really bad that you don't try to waxing, polishing, you don't try to compound it. And uh, it didn't work. Well, you know, some paints, it's, everything is not going to bring it back to life. You know, it might well admit it, you know. So, uh, some of them just be too far gone. So, I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I use. Because this is my truck here. And uh, this truck here, the paint job is actually gone. But, you know, if I want to just chill around with it, make it look better, uh, at least look decent, you know, I'm going to show you guys what I do. I'm going to show you a bad paint. Now, you see here, for this mirror, now, you see, you you could probably try waxing it and stuff like that, but it's not really going to work because, it's, see, it's fading out right here real bad. You can see the black is showing here and just basically turning white. And it's supposed to be burgundy, you know. So, uh, yeah, there ain't too much you can really do for this. Not for us waxing and compounding and stuff like that probably not gonna work it just can't make it worse because it could pull what little layer of paint is already here you really don't even want to remove that because nothing nothing much left under there all right so you see how bad that looks but see but look at here the body what i use is something like a trim shine or just intense tie spray right there for to get a body like a shine you know like I said, after all the waxing and compounding and polishing, you know, sometimes it's, just, it's, it's not going to help. I just want to make it look better for an event, for to go to a you know a wedding or whatever you need to go to a reception or just something, you know, a special event, guys. Or you just want to look good for the weekend. So what you're probably going to want to do, you know, like I said, <laughs> waxing, Polishing, clay barn, compounding. Sometimes it just ain't gonna work, man. You're gonna have to uh, break out some kind of what this stuff acts as something like a clear coat. That's basically what it acts as, as a clear. Now it's probably the last. You could take a microfiber cloth like as I got right there. You could wipe the excess back off. You know. You want to wipe as much of it back off as you can. Now, like I said, you just want to make it look decent for when you go. If you're just plain going to town, uh, going grocery shopping or something, then, you know, it works. Come back and look at the truck. See, now it doesn't look so faded. It's got some kinds of looks about it, you know what I'm saying? It looked like something. <laughs> No, it doesn't look so thrown away as when the paint turned it white looking and stuff. And you can see right there, guys, that it does give it some kind of look. No, like I said, always the waxing, polishing, the compounding, clay bar. Ain't going to work for everything. Just like this right here. It's not going to work for that. So, guys, I'm going to demonstrate what I do for stuff like this. Well, you know... Polishing, waxing just don't work always, compounding. And then I hit this. As you can see, how bad that look. Now watch this. Any kind of tie spray I do. Laws are good ones. Like dub. See there? Like dub. Black Magic Intense. You know, McGuire's Hot Shine. Anything that's a good like those NXT, you know what I'm saying? Same shine, the stuff like that'll work. Now, if you let it sit, you can wipe off the excess and see how much better that mirror looks already. Now, compounding and all that stuff really ain't gonna help it. You know, it's just gonna take off what make it worse, really, because it's just gonna take off the layer of paint that's already there. And which you don't have much paint to take off the spare. So that's why I said I don't recommend that. You 
You see how white this is here? Now, you could try compounding this. I'm just doing a demonstration. I don't really recommend putting it on top because it might run down on your windshield. I recommend you try to buff and wax it as much as possible. But I'm just doing a demonstration about what this, these products can do to make your car look better for the moment. All right, that's a good spot right here. Now watch this, guys. I ain't gonna do too much of it. Just do a little spot. See that? You see the white part right there? Now what you do, just let that sit. Wipe that excess off. See, that looks better. You can see that from the front of the vehicle here. Look at that. Looks way better, man. Now, like I said, you can give it a few minutes, let it sit, take it right back off. Look at there. Looks better like that than like that. Oh, see that? Now, Ben ain't going to kill a whole lot of time. Just take a one microfiber that you really don't care too much for, like this one, and just wipe it, just like this. Wipe all the excess off, get it down in there where it's turned, get that whiteness off there. And this stuff, remind you, this stuff is hydrophobic, so this stuff uh, really water repellent. So you ain't got to worry about the rain washing it off too much. It's water repellent. See that? You can take the assets off. You're just trying to make it look better, you know, until you get time to paint it. So, so this truck is what, 21 years old? I think this truck is a 95, 94, 95. And, uh, yo, see, like here on this mirror, you don't want your mirror to shine that much. Microfiber cloth right here. Take it. To a nice clean spot. Like this. Wipe the SS off. Watch this, guys. You ain't got to leave that much up there. See that? Wipe the SS off there. There you have it. And let me add you. When it rains, this stuff is water repellent. It's not going to wash off too easy. You know. So if you guys think, oh, when the rain come on, not too much. Based on the only thing you got to do is just keep your microfiber cloth that you don't care much about. Just wipe over it. You know what I'm saying? And it'll stay there for a couple weeks. And uh, this is just something to hold you over until you're able to get it painted. I'm just telling you guys some tricks. That I use, you know, been using this method for a while. For cars that need pain really, really, really bad. But like I said, uh, waxing, polishing, clay barring, compounding, you know, whatever doesn't help always. <laughs> What's the other coating, that glass pack coating? Ain't none of that stuff gonna help till you paint it, man. You know, see. Because um, that's the only way to make it look better. And like I said, what this stuff acts as a clear coat. That's all it does. It acts as a clear coat until you able to get it painted. You know, because like this truck here, I got a couple more eyes and ends I got to do to it. It needs some tires on it for one. The tires got a few cracks in there I don't like. Um... I gotta do a little work to the seat. One of my seats, I gotta take out another truck. One of my seats, I like it, want to keep leaning back. Uh, that's about it. You know, a little amount of eyes and ears need doing. You know, and the paint be the last thing that I do. Cause remember, you can't ride off paint, guys. <laughs> paint ain't what K. So, uh, there you go, man. Let's show you guys a little tip for um, faded paint and if you come back over here you can see it stays right there the color see compared to that whiteness right there you don't want that 
unattractive, man. See the whiteness? See the color come in? Whiteness, color. And uh, yeah, this method works. Like, like I said, I've been using it for years. And only thing all the tie shine stuff does, guys, and the trim shines and stuff like that, like I said, it acts as a clear, clear coat. And that's what makes it shine. Just like I said, you spray it up there, wipe the excess off, and you're good to go. It'll stay looking good just like that. Even in the rain, rain doesn't move it. Remember, this stuff is water repellent, so the rain is not going to move it. I don't care how hard it rains, this stuff ain't going nowhere. When it dries off, you better break the microfiber cloth out. And wipe the excess right back off. This stuff probably lasts for several weeks. Alright. So that's the tip for the day. For really bad faded paint. And if you just want to make it look better. There you have it guys. If you're new to my channel. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, share my videos with your family and friends. Guys follow me on Facebook. Get up there and share me out. Facebook too. Detailer King. And I'll, guys, there you have it, man. Take care. Keep them shining them rides. And I'll see you guys on the next video, man. All right.